They are arguably the backbone of musical theater, a crucial part in both the successful rise of a musical in popularity and a long theatrical run. It's really impossible for your story to make it to the next level without one. And yes, they may be filled with ups and downs and landings in the middle, but they are also often where the new story begins. Today, I'd like to talk about my top five favorite staircases in musical theater. You're watching Musical Theater Mash! If we're being honest, 42nd Street is mostly a musical about feet and shoes. Mom and me, those dancing feet. On the avenue, I'm taking you to 42nd Street. And what do dancing feet need more than anything else? One gigantic staircase. Go. I do think it's a shame that they don't do the skyline thing from the movie, though. And come to think of it, where does that staircase go, anyway? And one more leading nowhere just for show. Now, friends, let me tell you what I mean. You got one, two, three, four. As much as it pains me to say it, Andrew Lloyd Webber writes some good staircases. And I mean, what better place to show off your ridiculous outfits and rip off Vogue? And it's based on the actual grand staircase from the Palais Gonier. In Paris? Paris? Oh yes. Plus, it takes the Phantom so long to walk down the staircase. At the end, he just teleports back up to the top. Although it's a shame the tension in the staircase and the music doesn't also match the tension in the lyrics. I have written you an opera. It's not often that the number of steps in a staircase are directly dictated by an orchestra, but, well, that's Jerry Herman for ya. Any set design that does not have exactly the number of steps as indicated by the beat and tempo in this instrumental introduction is doing it wrong. And fun fact, that means that Carol and set designer Oliver Smith had been doing it wrong for years. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. My number two staircase is from the musical Cats. I mean, what other staircase gets an entrance like that? And all that fog and the lights? Not to mention the late 90s special effects. This staircase, like the rest of this show, makes no sense. Like, why doesn't the flying tire just keep flying upwards? Or why is the heavy side layer accessed via staircase? Or why does a cat even need a staircase? Although I do think it is a shame that they replaced it with that UFO thingy in later productions of the show. There were a lot of contenders for top staircase in musical theater, so before we get to number one, Let's take a look at some honorable mentions.
Rebecca, the musical that at this point is probably never going to make it to Broadway. Now, the musical is in German and I don't speak German, but from my understanding, this is a musical about a demon staircase named Rebecca. Rebecca the Staircase is out to destroy everything and everyone that walks up or down it, and the only person that can keep her evil escalations at bay is the warm-hearted housekeeper, Mrs. Danvers. But when newcomer Ek accidentally breaks Mrs. Danvers' protectionary staircase statue, the staircase's evil can no longer be controlled and it sets itself on fire! And those are my top favorite staircases in musical theater. So what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Who knows? Let me know. And stay tuned next time and maybe we'll talk about elevators or something. <laughs> oh, this is a silly video.